Hey guys, I'm Jared with Striker Boats. Uh, I'm here answering questions today. One of the most popular questions we have is what motor should I choose? And there is a lot of information you can find out there on, on what motors are best for what setups. Um, and I'm here to kind of debunk some of those. So in my opinion, uh, if you're looking at our LX270 or our 320, you should really be looking at a 9.9. .9. Uh, the 9.9 .9 Merc that we sell is an incredible little motor. It's gonna provide good performance for two to three people. Now, if you start getting four people plus gear and say a pet with you, you will need to consider something a little bigger. A 15 would be a good option at that point to still provide enough performance to get the boat up on plane. Regardless of what vessel you choose and motor size, the target here, in my opinion, is to do it as, as economically and fuel efficient as possible while still providing enough performance to get the boat up on plane. If you're not getting the boat up on plane, you're always just gonna be pushing water around. You will burn a considerably more amount of fuel getting to where you want to go than if you get the boat up on plane, so you get it up out of the hole that it's sitting in, and you break that surface tension of the water and you really start to gain momentum through the water. And that's what's gonna offer you the absolute best performance. You're gonna to get to where you want to go much, much quicker. And all around, you're just gonna have a really nice time with the properly sized outboard to the boat. Okay, so moving forward, if you're going for a 360 model, so an LX360, anywhere up to our Pro 420. So that would be the 380 series and then the 420 and all of the models. You should really be looking at the Merc 20 horsepower, whether you go electric start or manual start. They're both incredible motors and they are gonna provide the performance you need out on the water to do all of the things that that boat is designed to do. Now, if you're heading on the high end of that and you're looking at our Pro 420 or HD 420, you could also start considering a 30 horse. You will get performance with three people in the boat and gear and a pet with a 20 horse and, and the 420. If you start putting more than that in, say five, six people in the boat plus gear, you should absolutely start considering a 30 horsepower. The reason I'm such a big fan of this 20 for all of those models, 360 plus, is it's incredibly lightweight. It's under 100 pounds. It's incredibly fuel efficient. Now that all of these new 20s are, are fuel injected rather than carbureted, you really get a lot of bang for your buck. You get a lot of horsepower that's delivered to the prop regardless of your elevation. And being such a lightweight, easy to use motor, I just cannot say enough good things about those packages. Being able to have the performance at the twist of the throttle without waiting for you know half of a lake size to get up on plane is, is really nice. Now, that being said, there's a lot of people who who still, you know, we ask, we get the 9.9 9 question. A 9.9, .9, can work and it's really situational on if that motor is going to provide the performance you need. So you could choose an LX360 or a 380 with a 99, but just know you will never get performance out of that and and a lot of times you won't even get the boat up on plane if there's more than two people. So a few extra dollars uh, definitely worth it. Motors, um, especially in the last few years, have actually been an investment. A lot of people are selling motors for close to what they paid for them. So don't let sticker prices fool you. It is money in, in the bank. Like you're spending the money now, but that outboard that you're purchasing is gonna hold its value for a considerable amount of time. They do come with a five-year warranty, which is really, really nice feature and peace of mind in the future, knowing that your investment is protected. I hope I've been able to provide a little insight on, on how I feel about these outboard motors and what packages work well for those sizes. Thanks for watching.